Welcome back to the channel, friends. On today's video, I am going to demonstrate how I sticker all my slabs. And up here, these ones have been drying for some time. Uh, I actually had them standing up, which is not really good for them because they have the opportunity to bow and every cup and everything else. So. I have them all there, they look fairly decent, and uh, I put a 1x3 furring strip in between each of them, stacked them up. I, I don't have to ratchet strap these down, you'll see some guys ratchet strap them down. This cottonwood has only been cut for about two months, so we're going to slab this up today. This one's going to need to be ratchet strapped down because it is still fairly wet, so it does have a chance to cup or bow or twist or whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna put it, I, I have some cinder blocks leveled already and I level the front to back, side to side, everything straight across. That way everything that's sitting on top of it stays fairly straight. So let's get into it, let's cut this cottonwood up and then uh, show you how I sticker it. Okay, so that's it. That's where we're at. I've stickered all these slabs up. I put the top cut on here. I don't, normally don't do that, but since these are so wet and I'm strapping them with ratchet straps, I wanted to have kind of that curvature on there and it wasn't gonna get bound on the bark on these other ones. So that's pretty much it. I get them on here pretty tight. I get about, you know, get them tight and I get about two cranks on them, but I mean, it's, it's nice and secure, allows everything to air dry, and then uh, we'll probably finish it off in the kiln or we'll you know, spend a few more months air drying and then we'll be good to go to use them or sell them. So, that's it for today. Always remember, like the video, comment down below on if you wanna see some more milling videos like this or what kind of milling videos or woodworking videos you wanna see. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.